So today we will discuss on uh, Cunningham Lean algorithm, which is also known as uh, KL algorithm. Uh, so this is one of the algorithm basically used for uh, graph partitioning. So while uh, you will do a graph partitioning, uh, and basically graph partitioning is required when you start finding out a new community in a social network. As discussed, that uh, community discovery is actually depending on the uh, partitioning approach, and this partitioning approach basically uh, observed in any of the clusters of an heterogeneous uh, social network. Now, in this particular context, uh, Cunningham and Lean, uh, they have already suggested one uh, specific algorithm, and we are going through the lemma one, that is a part one of this particular algorithm. So this is, we can say, one of the best strategy for finding out an effective partition in any of the undirected graph uh, where uh, it is uh, providing the set of vertices and the set of uh, edges associated with that particular graph structure. So the main process uh, behind this particular algorithm is to uh, swapping of two specific uh, node from one particular cluster to another particular cluster provide it gives you the profit after making the necessary movement. So here uh, we use an heuristic approach. So that's the reason this particular algorithm is also known as an heuristic uh, algorithm of uh, graph partitioning. And uh, as we have seen in this particular lemma one, so if you have two nodes, uh, small a belong to the cluster capital A, small b belong to the cluster capital B, we started interchanging and uh, the cost reduction should be indicated in the following manner. Okay, G of AB that is equal to DA plus DB minus two of C of AB. So where DA and DB are the profit for making a movement from one cluster to another cluster. As I told you, if there is a profit, then only we can swap two nodes uh, from one cluster to another cluster and 2CAB is a cost associated with the node called A and B. So this is basically uh, the fundamental uh, lemma associated uh, with the corresponding graph uh, partitioning approach. Okay, so now let's have a look on uh, the next slide uh, which is actually giving you an idea that how the nodes are located in a specific cluster. Suppose if you consider A and B are the two nodes, this is how they are located in the cluster. And here two costs are very important, which is responsible uh, while we start making a movement from one cluster to another cluster. One is called the internal cost. Suppose here you see that A is connected to K and M. So the internal cost of A is two. So internal cost is basically calculated when a particular node is located inside a cluster and connected to some other node inside that same cluster. The same way, if you consider the node B, which is located in another cluster, so we can calculate the internal cost of node B. And in this particular case, the internal cost is free because B is connected to J, F and E respectively. At the same point of time, if we calculate the external cost of A, which is nothing but uh, 3 because A is connected to B, C, D respectively uh, in the other clusters. So similarly, you can also calculate the external cost associated with B, which is nothing but 1 because B is only connected to A in other cluster. So this is how we basically calculate the internal cost and the external cost. So if you consider the same concept, Ultimately, this is how we have considered uh, the cost like uh, IA, as I told you, the internal cost, which is A uh, of A, if you consider it is 2, so IA equal to 2, uh, same logic if I use IB equal to 3, and as long as uh, the external cost is concerned, EA equal to 3 and EB equal to 1. Okay, so now what is uh, what we need to calculate we need to calculate the profit. So profit is D of A. So D of A is uh, nothing but uh, you have to just find the difference between the uh, external cost 
and the corresponding internal cost. So for DA, it is one, obviously, because three minus two. And uh, if I consider EB also, uh, that is uh, DB, that is uh, the profit for B, it is equal to minus of uh, two. So because it is EB minus uh, the IB, the difference between the external cost and the internal cost. So this is how we have calculated DA and DB. Now, while we start uh, making a movement of node A uh, to cluster from cluster A to cluster B, and similarly for node B from cluster uh, B to cluster A, so this is how the movement is uh, possible. Okay, so you are getting certain uh, edges also represented with a red color, which is showing that once uh, B and A has already inter interchanged their position, still all the edges will be connected as it is. So first we have to find out uh, that what exactly is the cut set when A and B has interchanged their position. So in case if they interchange their position and after that the cut set value has increased, like here you have seen the cut set becomes six. Once uh, you have changed the position of A and B, then obviously we can say that this movement is not feasible because it is not giving you any profit at the cost is getting increased when we are changing the position of A and B. One thing always you have to keep in mind that all the nodes, remaining nodes will uh, be located uh, as it is when there is a movement. So if you compare both the diagram, uh, the first one and the second one, you can clearly understood that only the location of A and B has been swapped, remaining all the nodes uh, available uh, as it is. Remaining all the connections are also available as it is. Like if you consider K and M earlier, uh, it was an internal node of A, but now K and M becomes an external node of A. If we consider B, J and F was the internal node earlier, but now after swapping J, F, these are becomes the external node. And if we consider the connection between A and B, that will remain as it is like the previous diagram. So this is basically known as the first part of uh, the KL algorithm, iteration one, uh, which uh, is giving us an idea that if I swap A and B, if I interchange the location of A and B, which is actually not a profitable interchange. So there is no point in moving A and B from uh, cluster A to cluster B respectively. So this is how uh, the cost has been calculated. If you see the formula we have used earlier, G of AB equal to DA plus DB minus 2CAB. That was the formula which is given in lemma 1. And as we have already calculated the value of DA and DB, so finally we start calculating G of AB, which is 1 plus minus of 2 and minus of 2. So G of AB is minus 3. So uh, hence we can conclude that we cannot move or we cannot interchange A and B. And what would be the next approach? That is also another very important uh, thing here uh, to understand that in case A and B uh, cannot be interchanged, uh, we will not stop here. Uh, we will move to the next part of the algorithm, which is actually known as the lemma two. 